Welcome back to the basement, basement dwellers. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. It is a starry night here in Minecraft. And look at this torch. Right in front of us in the middle of the screen. And then look at it on the right side of my hotbar. This is what um, torches look like right now. You can see it uh, here in my hotbar and here in my inventory. And then over here in the craftable space. I don't know why torches look like that, uh, but they do. It didn't earlier today when I was playing this game. Um, hmm. So, oh look, I'm missing a quartz block right there. I have to put that in. Uh, so right now we're looking, uh, we're in our tower at zero, zero. Okay, here's our base. Doesn't look too much different from the last video. Uh, the wall has been um, completed block wise and I've put in some dark oak. Uh, fences in between those pillars. I also had a suggestion to do glass panes uh, So I'd like to give those a try but right now we're looking out over at the farm you can remember these are Potatoes and carrots and wheat and wheat and then there's a bunch of cows out there We can't quite see but if you look at this area here, you'll see uh, Space for I think six dark oak six spruce I think one just popped up there and then here 64 trees 32 oak that are prevented from being large oak by glass blocks and 32 more spots for birch. Uh, the goal has been, look at these torches. Uh, the goal has been tree farming off camera since I last left you. Also um, added to this sugarcane farm. And yeah, I've just been sort of farming away on the cows. You can see they're ready for a slaughter. Whoa. My wheat looks weird. Welcome back to Glitchy Bedrock. Uh, the torches look weird. The wheat looks weird. Let's see if anything else looks weird. Um, yeah, so you can see some of the progress we've made. Here's dark oak. We've got nearly a chest of stacks of dark oak. Uh, and also birch. We're struggling on birch, which is why I made space for 62 oak and birch trees. We're also struggling on oak, as you can see, uh, but our spruce is in very good shape. Quiet cows. Um, my experience is really low because I combined a few things, and uh, one of them is I combined a protection three thorns two unbreaking three helmet with a respiration three helmet. Uh, and the other one is I combined an efficiency three axe with an unbreaking three axe and I love my unbreaking three efficiency three axe it is splendid if I pass and place a new torch it does look weird look at that and I break it and it looks like a looks like a triangle that's weird I wonder why the textures are messed up I was playing this on the switch on the train on the way home from work today and I've been hanging out with my kids all evening, and now they're in bed, and I'm recording an episode here. And, uh, yeah, so you can see that there's these polished um, granite sort of dealy bobs that let me know where to plant the oak saplings uh, once I'm done harvesting. Um, does it use up durability on an axe to chop through leaves with it? That's a question that I have. Uh, the idea, though, I mean, I can switch pretty easily like this. The idea, though, is that I would uh, be able to mine oak and birch a little more efficiently by having 32 of each and to have them lined up. And what I've found has worked for me in past worlds pretty well is uh, to line them up like this and then to harvest the bottom two blocks of each one. And then to aim the uh, uh, the character's vision straight up and just, whoops, broke one of my weird texture torches. And then just walk through and uh, take care of the rest of the blocks of the oak trees that are all taller than... Uh, I kind of like these glowy torches. <laughs> I wish I could stick them closer together than a full block apart when they're so such a small part of the block. Uh, but yeah, that I did not start recording because those textures are the way that they are. I started recording because I wanted to uh, record an episode of the basement. So, so the idea then is that you look straight up and you chop until the wood is gone, and then you move three blocks and you do the next one. 
Okay, and I've got 32 of these, and I'm not going to do them all on camera. I'm going to leave 29 of them floating for now, and we're going to ignore these dark oak. But yeah, it's really rather organized. I like they're spaced evenly. They're lit up well so that saplings are encouraged to grow at night. Um, yeah, and as you can see, these are all spaced nice and evenly, and I flatten the ground. Um, so all four of the tree types that we've found here, spruce and then birch and oak where there's these 64 and then dark oak on the far side are represented here. And I'm thinking one day I'll fill in and flatten this land here, this back strip, and that will become tall jungle trees or spaced out acacia trees because acacia grow weird. But I haven't found either of those yet, and I'm trying to decide what to do for this episode. It's either going to be build a wall around the village or, oh, hello. Heh, <laughs> you jerks. They fall down here and then they just are stuck forever. That one's going to blow up. Oh, I thought that one was going to blow up for sure. Oh, I almost had to fall down there in order to get them. Boy, the water is weird too. I'm really curious to see what else looks weird. I was going to say, my um, my episode's either going to be building a wall around this place or uh, going exploring. And I haven't thought too much about what I'd like to build the wall out of. Probably something like cobblestone wall or fences of some sort of polished something or other. And remember, we've got our um, we got our homies in here, safe and sound. Our librarian. Maybe I should trade with him a bit. I've got a oh, there's a zombie that wants in somewhere. I've got a bunch of books back at the base. And then once I get to Journeyman, I think I find out what this is. So yeah, we need books and paper to trade with him. And emeralds also would be helpful. And then this guy is all sold out of wheat. We could give him emeralds for bread, which I don't want to. If we had pumpkins, we could go that way. And I think we might actually have uh, um, pumpkin seeds somewhere. So maybe I should consider doing that. Okay, do we still have our... This, we do. So we need paper and we need um, emeralds and we need books for that guy. And we should start possibly thinking about growing pumpkins. We could get some experience by slaughtering some cows, which is always fun. Um, see, these must be wheat. Gosh, what a weird texture. I wonder if there are any other textures that are weird and I don't know what. So anyway, we could build a wall around the village or we could set off in a direction. Hey, did you, were you a villager and now you're a zombie villager because of some terrible thing that happened? I need that to not be the case anymore. At least we have a farmer and a librarian and we could probably convince them to breed if need be. Uh, excuse me, guys. Um, oh, I also had a request in the comments, and I want to point this out, uh, to spare the wandering travelers rather than uh, kill them to take their leads. Hey, now what is that thing that I have two of in my hotbar that shows up as nothing? White wool. Why does it show up as nothing? What is going on? With Minecraft right now, this is uh, Bedrock 1.13.0, I believe. Um, but yeah, did I even finish my thought about what we were possibly going to do this episode? It was it was either build a wall in the village, and I'm not totally sure what um, material to use, or it was going to be uh, go traveling and see if I can find a jungle. Uh, for some jungle stuff or acacia. Is my inventory full? No, not quite. What is that? Oh, that's a horse. <laughs> I do love the way these cows fly with the knockback and the fire aspect. I think it's pretty funny. So I'm just really trying to thin the herd here. I've got more 
I've got so much wheat because of those farms and it being in chests that this is a good source of um, experience and food and leather, which is good for trading and it's good for making um, item frames and it's good for making books uh, with paper. Although with the Stronghold having two libraries, I've got lots of books and I would like to find a... Um, just making sure I got everything here. Would like to find a, a mansion at some point too. So let's just do one round of feeding here, and then I think we'll probably take off and see if we can find uh, some interesting stuff. So you can see I'm trying to stay organized here. I made a few more chests over in this area so that I could uh, drop stuff off and it would be organized. That's all leather and cooked steak. This is all oak and spruce. Uh, this is all birch and dark oak. This is all um, seeds and wheat, and then there's potatoes and carrots up there, and that's all sugarcane, which will become paper. So let's harvest that. This is just kind of a everything pile. Uh, is there anything here I want to take with me? I guess I could put this up. Some of these guys came too close uh, while I was off camera, and I so I defeated them so they would know who's boss. Um, I don't need this. The brown wool is like flickering. Gosh, what a weird game. Okay, let's swap the egg out for that, and then uh, then we can chuck this. Okay, I don't need this extra stick, and I'm going to drop that axe off. But first, uh, let's see what these look like when I harvest them. Oh, normal. What do you know? Okay, I don't know how many cows we have, but if we do, oh... 28 wheat that's probably going to be enough right so the real question is going to be is what direction do I go in to try to find what I'm looking for okay let's feed all of these guys so we get some babies going collect some experience and uh, yeah, 28 wheat was way more than I needed. I don't understand why I have an odd number. I guess probably because I killed a number such that only an odd number was left. Okay, uh, we got plenty of food. We got white wool for no apparent reason. I guess I could have a chest over here for um, sheep and pig stuff. But for now, let's just stack those there. Uh, and we'll grab this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna trade with the villager, and then we're gonna set off in a direction to try to find Jungle or Acacia Have we seen Acacia already and just ignored it in the series if anyone remembers let me know, please uh, Okay, let's take a bunch of this and we'll go like this and That will be fine. So that's paper. We need books and We need emeralds so we're heading home. I'm not sure how I feel about the this court stuff. I think I feel okay about it. This build definitely feels very unfinished to me. It needs some depth and some interesting stuff. But I've got some ideas cooking. I'm thinking about... This is spruce. But I'm thinking about spruce um, trap doors sideways. I'm thinking about spruce... Uh, stripped spruce logs that we could maybe use. Whoa, what is this? Light gray wool. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, where's our books? Um, chest. Here it is. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do this. And then do we have enough emeralds to be... Well, we've got five. I guess that gives us a little bit of a head start. So let's turn all this into paper. Not sugar. Paper, paper, paper. Okay? And then we'll put the leftovers in here. All right, and then we'll go trade with what's his name. But first, let's think about this. So, uh, we have less map south and north. So which way is going to be likely to have any jungle or acacia, do we think? I guess... Um, Acacia is sometimes near desert, and I see some beach by the frozen ocean here, so let's head north uh, when it's time. And I don't have a bed on me, but I could take this one or 
Is there a blue one hanging around? Or is there one in here? I probably should bring a second water. I don't need more torches. I don't need more food. I've got good gear. I should leave this axe behind. Uh, we can put it where the shovel goes for now. Uh, okay. And there's nothing we can combine or um, enchant right now. Whoa! That's the... That looks weird. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to go trade with Guido. Oh, and we need a bed, though. Well, we've got plenty of wood over here, and we've got two white wool, and... Uh, not a pair of shears, though, or any iron. So I guess we'll have to kill one of the sheep. I think there's actually three right now. So that works out fine. Yeah, because I recently fed one. Okay, there's our trap door. Why is this so glitchy? Okay, two and three. So that's enough to make a bed. Let's grab some... This is actually, honestly, our most plentiful wood source right now. So we'll use this to make our bed. Oops. I accidentally started ducking there. Okay, we've got a, one of these right here. And let's make these. And then we can make a white bed. And then we can leave the wood behind. Brown wall. We don't need this. I would honestly rather have the... Extra... <laughs> one extra wood. Than the, um... Stupid this. Okay, so we'll toss that aside, and then we need to grab um, actual wood as, like, a supply. Okay, then we're good to go. I don't mind taking dark oak wood because I'm low on dark oak saplings, so if I can use some up and then make some space, then I have an excuse to harvest more dark oak trees in the future and get some more saplings uh, underway. So now we are headed north, right, because that's why... Or Z positive. Yeah, and the village was to the north. Uh oh, we're already down to 63 stakes. Man, I hope this guy offers a really good trade. It's kind of a bummer you have to trade so much just to see which enchanted book they're going to offer. Okay, so I take this way in because... It helps me not worry about zombies. Okay, let's trade him some paper. Till he says no. Let's do the book one, too. Okay. What's this? Sharpness one? Expert has another one, though. So we could keep tr doing this one. Now we can't. So we could trade this twice, or this 16 times. That's probably the way to get him to level up. I suppose I could try to get some ink sacks, too. I guess that does a fair bit of... Yeah, let's, let's max this one out here. Oh, we did, of course, and we're one short of being able to do this trade twice. So we'll do it once. And that's all the more leveling we're going to do with him today. Because. Because, of course. All right, well. That's that. Um, good night, guys. Uh, you get to spend the night like that. I'm going to go to sleep on your... Uh, edge of your roof here. Then we're going to head north. We're going to grab this thing. And uh, we're going this direction. So hopefully we'll find something awesome. Um, I want this out of the hot bar. I want this in. And then I think we're good. I should probably grab some more coal along the way if I see it. I'll go ahead and go this way just to start off nice and healthy. Alright. So I know we've traveled on um, X 
No, this is east. This is north. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, those are just zombies. So we're a fair bit east of due north. But you know what? That's kind of okay, because I think we've gone straight north from zero zero before. So we'll go north from uh, 280 east of zero or so. We'll maybe push that to 300 and uh, see if we find anything awesome. One of the next big things in the series is going to be to try to get mending books. And I, oh, look what I found. Yeah, skeleton horses. Um, I've got a picture of it. Although it's just just going to look like uh, this. Yeah, these. You can, well, that's not really anything special. But I was, wa I was doing some wandering off camera. And uh, I saw something. Like a single skeleton horse or something. And then, um, and then lightning struck it. And it was suddenly four skeleton horses with skeletons on them and i was like oh my goodness gracious i'd never seen that in minecraft before i'd heard of it i didn't know if it was in bedrock or not uh, i never really gave it much thought but just because i never encountered it before and uh yeah lo and behold it just happened right in front of my eyes so i tried to defeat all the skeletons unfortunately one of the um skeleton horses perished but i've got the other three kind of corralled there so we can stick uh saddles or armor or uh name tags on them or whatever we need to but for now i think they're safe and sound in their little dirt enclosures um i don't think they can despawn they can't wander uh significantly oops i ducked so i don't know though um but yeah as i was saying one of the main things i want to get done soon in this series is mending books because we're getting to the point where we've got a decent way to get our hands on experience and we've got enough diamonds and enchanted books and stuff that like we're getting to the point where we can make or already have some really good equipment so for example both i have a diamond pickaxe now as you guys may know that both two of them both are unbreaking three efficiency five and one of them's fortune three and one of them's mending or i'm sorry one of them's fortune three and one of them's silk touch that's really cool looking this looks like ocean. <sighs> I suppose where the sand and the ice were was the reason why we went north. So we should probably swing this way. A little bit west, since we're east of due north right now. Um, and where when we looked on the map, we saw the beaches with the frozen ocean biome stuff. Um west of due north i don't know how much of this coal i need i know how much of that i need that much that'll be fine look here's some more boom okay uh yeah so we're gonna swing this way and see if we can find that frozen ocean and then just sort of continue north from there i suppose and see what we find i'd i've got half a mind to just keep going until I find enough jungle and or acacia saplings to be satisfied and to come home. I really do want to have those options, even though those are my two least used wood types when building. Um, I do use birch. There's one specific use I like for it aesthetically, but then also, um, oh, ink sacks. We can trade these to our librarian. I should keep an eye out for those things and gather their ink sacks when I can. Uh, ooh, look. What do you call a group of squid? You know how different animals have different names for groupings, like um, a smack of jellyfish or a troop of monkeys or a pride of lions? It's not just all a herd or whatever. Like a school of fish or a flock of birds. Uh, interestingly, a murder of crows is the group of... an in the name of a group of crows uh let's see here so we're headed north we're still east of due north though so let's head north and west right now 
we'll see if we can meet up at at uh, if we set a torch or anything at x zero y equals negative a thousand. I'm guessing we probably did. Uh, I'd like to see how many ink sacks I have actually. What was the trade? Was it like six for an emerald or something? I got seventeen. Huh. Maybe that's a good thing to keep on the hot bar, just so we can keep track of how much we have. And how much coal do we have? 26. Ooh. It's not very much. I should honestly be harvesting this as I go, but I suppose if we get down to zero, we can just... Oh, look, a portal. You know what? I should have taken the portal to get north. Oh, well. That would have been quicker, but then I would have missed out on the ink sacks and the skeleton horse story that I wouldn't have remembered to tell you guys. So I guess it's good that we took the long way. Any ink sack holders under here? No? Okay. Yeah, and then, but after mending stuff, I mean, we gotta think about uh, the end and the dragon and Elytra and end cities. We have to think about a weather fight, an ocean monument, um, a woodland mansion. All sorts of stuff to figure out. There's a lot of sand. Where there's sand, there's hope. Hope of acacia trees, anyway. Hi, Drowned. Don't mind me. I'm just swimming through. I will leave you guys alone. If you leave me alone. And in fact, I'll probably leave you alone even if you don't. Just because it's such a pain in the butt to defeat you guys. One thing I don't like about a knockback sword is it's hard to gather the drops. Ooh, what's this? Maybe there's some good stuff down here. I do have respiration. I don't have, like, aqua, aqua affinity. But I can stand to be underwater for a long time. Whoa, okay, hold on now. I don't want to get sucked down there. Involuntarily. I don't know if there's treasure chests in these or not. Someone help me out with some helpful knowledge with that. Not in time to help me right now, but let's check this one out. Just real quick, we'll see what we see. Is this sand? It is. See, I feel like there might be a chest in here. Come on, get your feet on the ground. There you go. You operate your tools so much more quickly once your feet are on the ground. I don't think there's chests in these things. Yeah, it seems like not. There is light down here, though. I'd like to get... Those are the, um... The sea lanterns, right? That you can get from, uh... Ocean monuments. Sink! Thank you. And I think if I... You know what? I've got a silk touch on me, actually. Yeah, these are definitely worth grabbing. Hi, Dolphin. Uh, okay, so back to where we were going. Where were we going? This way. No, this way. Now we're west of due north. Now we're heading northwest. Yeah, but mending is a big deal, and I'm not sure if trading with librarians is going to be the way to do it. Do I need to breed a bunch of villagers and then build a bunch of lecterns so I can get a bunch of librarians? If I... Are some librarians, do they offer a mend... Or not a mending necessarily, but an enchanted book trade right away so I don't have to level them up in order to see what their enchanted trade is going to be, enchanted book trade? Uh, that would be nice. I should take this silk touch off now that I have secured my sea lanterns. There's some exposed coal ore I should not ignore, but I'm going to anyway. This looks like a pretty place to hunker down for the night, and then we can keep traveling, uh, well, north, I guess. Respawn point set. You can only sleep at night. Well, it looks pretty darn close to night to me. Is that promising? Is that like a swamp? Swamps are sometimes near, um, 
biomes with acacia trees, right? I want to check this out and then I want to head north. So we're going, what are we going right now? We're going west. Yeah, because this is the direction the sun set. Are there sea pickles down here? Here's a chance for some more ink sacks. Is there a way to build a squid farm? I'm sure there is. I have no... What the heck is that? Tropical fish. I have no idea what the way to build a squid farm is, though. So, ink sack trades are not something I've ever been proficient at. In Minecraft, this is not a swamp biome. It's just... A large island. All right, so we'll swing back north here, but northwest looks okay but because it kind of gets us a little more <laughs> land as we go. And we can pick up a few more ink sacks along the way. That is a lot of drowned. And I see a uh, trident, so we're not going to hang around for too long. Ink sacks, ink sacks, good. Okay. <sighs> How's everybody doing out there in uh, YouTube land today? You guys having a nice day? Is there going to be a dolphin on the land right now that I have to rescue? Yeah, go in the water. Thank you. Thank you for helping me go fast. Do not spend too much time out of the water. You will hurt yourself. <sighs> Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I had kind of a weird day. I'm at a weird spot in work right now. I'm doing fine i'm on a contract and my part of the job is going really well but i'm part of a four-man team that's doing a uh doing this project that overall is not going super great and some of it is dysfunction on the team like personal stuff between members um not like personal life things but just not getting along not <laughs> getting in each other's way I think there's some invisible stuff on that grass. I was seeing those boxes highlight with nothing in them. I think flowers are textureless right now. All well, the textures are messed up. Anyway, I've been uh, I've been professional and just put my head down and get my work done. But the leadership that's supposed to provide us with some direction and some helpful data and info in order to continue doing our jobs and moving forward with the progress with the uh, stuff... Go ahead, world. I'm ready to. I'm ready for you to render. Are we looking underground right now? That looks really flat. Are we seeing something interesting because of a chunk loading error? I do want to check out this ice, but I kind of want to keep in mind this direction. Uh... if we don't see something super straight here it may be underground and it may be some like structure that is useful or helpful to us okay let's not get trapped under the ice here maybe it was this that we saw i'll bet it was wow look how deep this goes this is cool is that a dolphin it would be fun to like if i had better gear right underwater breathing potions or something. A respiration helmet is nice, but it's not enough to keep me alive down there for more than a minute. Okay, we're still headed north. We're quite west of home as well. And traveling on the ice is always nice and fast. Um, that does not look super promising yet, so let's keep going north. I don't want to pass up land with jungle or acacia or anything else notable and interesting um, in my periphery just because I'm focused straight ahead. So I've got to kind of look left and right from time to time. That seems like nothing. But this way it seemed like there were, yeah, there's green over there. So there's like trees and stuff, but nothing that looks new, like a new biome. That is a weirdly shaped foliage right right in front of me right there <laughs> looks like pac-man eating a slice of pizza or something how odd you guys are some lonely sheep and you're gonna stay that way there we go i 
Well, I see land. Let's, uh, oh, sorry to make you guys dizzy. Let's hop on the ice until we have to get in the water. Hopping on this ice is pretty smooth. Pretty quick traveling. Gosh, what a great game. I really do like this game. It's just, there's something so peaceful and relaxing about it. Grinding is fun and relaxing and satisfying. Uh, traveling is just beautiful. I'm still not over the Minecraft music. I know a lot of people are, but I only started playing this game a few years ago. Haven't been playing for 10 years like some people have. Hmm. 26 coal. Yeah, tempting, but... I just want to keep moving for now. You know, when you've got a bed and you've got a lot of food and some decent armor and gear, there's not really a whole lot of urgency to stopping and getting something like coal when you know you could just stop a few days, a few Minecraft days later and do it. You know? Like, there's going to be coal later. Maybe we'll find ourselves... You know what I should have brought, maybe, though, was some obsidian. Although, then we'd have to dig a tunnel in the nether back. So, I guess we'll only do that if we find something really interesting. It would be pretty darn cool if we just stumbled upon a uh, woodland mansion. Although, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, the odds are extremely low. Just because they're so far away, you have to pick a really precise angle to hit it. Uh if you know the coordinates, you know. Um, and to do that randomly is just, the odds are ever not in your favor. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? I was explaining a little bit of the weirdness at work. So yeah, I don't know. If this project fails, it won't be my fault and um, I'll I'll be okay, I'll be fine. But it, it's starting to feel like maybe some people in work might kind of be in trouble. Uh, so I'm trying to do what I can to help, but also not trying to, like, overexert myself or stress myself out or, like, do anyone else's work for them, you know, um, too much. Uh, okay. One thing we have to be careful about when we're traveling like this is if we start to get impatient, we uh, put ourselves at risk of accidentally finding a ravine, um, which can have disastrous results. So let's stay light on our toes. I like this lava fall. This is a beautiful flower forest biome here. But north, north is the goal. Uh, what is your current employment uh, situation? If anyone wants to share in the comments below, go for it. And feel free to uh, interact with each other, too. If you someone writes something interesting or that you can relate with or whatever, uh, replying to other people's comments is cool. Instead of just leaving your own comments all the time and hoping maybe for a reply from my personal account or the basement's account. Boy, that, uh, that almost looks man-made, doesn't it? Over here. It also kind of looks like plateau and sand. And I'm wondering if maybe there's not going to be um, some mesa. Maybe? Doesn't seem very likely. And now I'm heading south, uh, slightly south and mega east, which was kind of the opposite of what I was going for. But you can really only travel one direction at a time. So, let's try this right now. It's okay to meander. Sometimes you just have to follow your instincts. You have to look at what you see and uh, make a make a stab at it. This looks like it's just going to be a lot of oak and birch anyway, though. Despite the fact that it was hilly and sandy and promising in other ways. Pig. Hilly plains. gotta stay stocked up you want regen in case something crazy happens i feel relatively safe in the daytime but still having full health and full food i mean it would be silly not to what is that oh that's probably uh 
uh, kelp. I saw that straight up and down, and I didn't know quite what to make of it. Hi, turtle! Mr. and Mrs. Turtle. I like seeing baby turtles. I made a rather big deal out of baby turtles in the last series. Look at this error. Oh, there it is. A lot of drowned in the world. I feel like all we're doing is increasing the uh, file size and not really discovering anything new or helpful. Get those ink sacks. Well, I'm up to 55. I don't know what I was at before. Okay, that's west. So north is this way, and now the sun is setting. Oh, man. I really wish I had a water. Now would be the perfect time to take a sip while I'm just holding forward and... There's not a whole lot else I can do. Instead, I'm texting, checking my text messages. Oh. <sighs> Wifey sent one. Hey, it's ruins! Let's see if there's anything good in here. I wouldn't mind having some uh, magma block. Okay, you know what? First, we're going to do this. That is too far away, really. Okay. Yeah, I see you over there, you creeper. There's another one. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Look at this. Yeah, there's a treasure chest, and it's waterlogged. Um, okay. There's all that coal we didn't harvest earlier. That's good. Look how the water is washing me away, and I'm still looking in. Oh, I got too far away. Interesting. Um, yeah, there we go. We do have a treasure map here. Well, I think we should probably follow that. Let destiny guide us here. Uh, that is this way. And it is on land, it looks like. Or right next to land. Uh, the inventory is getting pretty full. In fact, it is full. And we've got one of these that we can't pick up because of this white wool, which we don't need. And now we do have it, and we have a bed that we can't pick up because of this rotten flesh. And that bed disappeared, so don't want to break those when you're not paying attention to where it is. Okay, let's put this in our offhand. That frees up one more inventory space as well. And then we're gonna have to make some. Oh, we're gonna have to make some hard decisions about what to keep. Okay, I realize we're headed due south. But maybe we're supposed to swing uh, east or west after we get to this treasure in order to find... Hey, it's a swamp biome. In order to find what we want to find, what we need to find. Which is jungle, acacia, and interesting structures. I've still never found a jungle temple, a jungle ruin, um, in Minecraft ever at all. On any platform. So that would be nice. Um, but we'll start with this uh, second treasure, and then we'll have to decide whether or not to swing right from our first-person perspective and go west. Or to go across the water and continue going east, pushing east, slash north. I'm kind of feeling east slash north. But we'll see. Okay, once I get really close to this X. Oh, it's right by the turtle, wouldn't you know? We're going to put this in our uh, this hand so we can really know exactly where we need to be. Which seems like it's right about here. And here comes a drowned. Oh, and he's got... Okay. You have to die. There you go. Now you're dead. That's fine. And now you're dead, and that's also fine. Okay, where was I digging? Here. Here? Here. Oh, look, it's another one. You really want to die just like your friends? Okay, that's fine. I don't even care about that trident. Okay, let's see.
Oh, did I get more air by doing that? Was I breathing temporarily? I may have been. Should probably be using the diamond pick because it's going to be so much faster. But... I'm not. What can I say? I'm a stubborn man. I hope this isn't one of those treasures that takes forever to find. Okay, now you need to die. These are some pesky drowned here. Uh, you know what we should do? We should set our bed here for a respawn point. And we should set this here so we can set some stuff down. Uh, it's all that trading stuff that I should have left with the librarian. Oh well. Oh, is that it? No, that's... I thought maybe that was the dirt of a treasure chest and instead it was just stone. Yeah, I hear bubbles. Is there a drowned head for me or are they just kind of swimming around and ignoring me? I don't know. Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Whoops. Boy, they used to take a long time to break. I'm trying to break stuff I'm not standing on so my feet stay on the ground. Because you mine so much faster with your feet on the ground when you're underwater. I really do wish I had a affinity now. Oh well. Ooh, interesting. Hey, I can breathe in here. This is the way I should have been doing it. <laughs> that torch looks so dumb. All right. I can mine a lot faster, too. Let's check this out. It seems like it's further this way. Da, 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 da. Do you guys have this much trouble with uh, treasure maps? I can remember struggling a little bit on camera looking for a... What was that? It was this guy. Where are you guys all coming from? Can there be fewer of you now, please, now? Thanks. Okay, down here to breathe. Good. I'll switch to the old workhorse. Yeah, I can remember being on camera and kind of struggling to find a <laughs> treasure. They do tend to be good, though. Sometimes you find another treasure map. Um, sometimes you find diamonds or emeralds. Sometimes you find a heart of the sea. Uh, and that's all good stuff worth having. So I see more drowned that are flirting with the idea of coming over here and asking to die. These guys have to know that I'm just, I'm not going to succumb to them. I'm going to defeat them. Why would they even bother? They should be going, oh my goodness, it's Peter. Let's steer clear. He's the friendliest place on YouTube. This way a little bit too. Eventually I'm going to break through and water is going to come in. Yeah, there it goes. It's got to be more this way. There it is. Ooh, okay, what's this? TNT. Look at all these helmets, okay. We probably don't need the actual potion of water breathing. That's handy. I don't need this chain mail. 
Although maybe just for fun, I'll come back down and grab it. And we can make some decisions later about what we keep. TNT, okay. Uh, boy, more steak than we started with. Um, I don't know how valuable, how necessary that is, actually. Gosh, we've got a lot of non-essentials. I do want to keep this, and I want to keep these because I can trade them with the librarian, and I'm going to want the other librarian tradable stuff, too. So these all come back. One bookcase I'm not worried about. The Heart of the Sea would be a shame not to keep. The TNT, the Magma Black, sure. Uh, the gold, the iron, why not? Definitely the sea lanterns. These I think we can make, and also we know where a stronghold is. So I'm not too worried about those. So what was left down here? Oh yeah, chain mail. Well, we could get a bunch of that from a... Um, what am I trying to think of? Am I really out of space already? I am, because I took so much stuff. Um, how do I get out of here? <clears throat> I need to pick up that chest. Okay, let's get rid of these. I really am not worried about any of that stuff, actually. Um, I just, I don't want this chest to stay here when I might discover a different treasure map and then think it's a thing. I want to know that it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, do we have a block of wool? I was going to say I could put that there. All right, we can get all this sorted if we need to. For now, let's sleep. And uh, yeah, I, we got we got some more exploring to do. I think with this map, I want to go want to go east to that landmass that's um, there at the top right corner there, and then continue on that way and see if we find anything good. Those might be mushrooms. Uh, for now, let's collect up this stuff and put it in here and then we'll take a picture I don't know if any of this is worth saving oh we don't need the sandstone we don't really need the nautilus shell although maybe because I don't even think I have a full stack of that this is hard to leave behind and so is this uh... We take these because they fit in our stack. And then what do we have? Three open spots. And once we drop our map, we'll have four. Yeah, so I guess we're good. Um, anyway, though, let's uh, take a picture of that. And then uh, I'm going to go just a little bit and then end the episode. I can do some more um, exploring off camera, but... No, I think this is enough. We're pushing, we're at what, like 50 minutes. Um, those do look like mushrooms. Is this a mushroom biome or are those just mushrooms in a swamp? Yeah, this does look like kind of just a swamp mixed with uh, ocean. But this is, uh, yeah, this is toward the landmass that I saw. So we'll make landfall there, and then uh, that's spruce, isn't it? And prepare to leave behind our um, our little mini camp with our double chest there for good, unless we someday want to come back to it with a screenshot that we took. Uh, but from here, it'll be more north, 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 just to see if we can find uh, something new in the game that I may want to build with. The, like I said so many times, the jungle, the acacia, or... Um, you know, structures to conquer with treasures to discover that we haven't seen yet so far in this series. So that's the plan. I'm going to drop this map. I'm going to continue north. If I find anything amazing, uh, I will not explore it without you guys. And um, if I don't, I'll probably just go back to base and do some tree farming. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time right here in the basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is 
our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping the basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making the basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.